Hi everyone, happy Manga Monday. Today I'm going to be talking about Aisha's Secret. It is a drama, mystery, psychological, supernatural tragedy. There is child abuse, gore, murder, and suicide. Aisha's mother died the same day she gave birth to her. Her father remarried several years later to an evil woman who has three sons, all of which are either physically abusive to Aisha or mentally and verbally mean one going as far as to stab her in the hand after her father died. Another seven years pass, and although the stepmother is still mean to Aisha, all of her stepbrothers are much kinder to her now. So much so, one might say that they're infatuated or obsessed. Her stepmother can't take it anymore and has Aisha follow her into the woods and kill her. But the next day, Aisha appears back at the house alive, a series of bizarre and deadly events start to take place in the manor. Who will survive and who will die? So I just finished this manga last night, probably around midnight. And I will say that for it being a horror, I actually really enjoyed it along with the psychological and the mystery and the suspense of it all it was really quite thrilling so after a certain point like when she comes back to life like Aisha when she comes back from the dead it was definitely for me a brain teaser I was definitely questioning like how what the heck happened did she have some sort of magical powers is there power on the estate or the forest is there like a, a magician or a mage somewhere that just like sewed her neck back on? Like I was really confused to how that happened. And I really just loved how twisted it was. Like every chapter, I'm telling you, there's only like 13 chapters, but literally every single chapter, something happened where I was like, what? Like that just happened, that's crazy. I would highly recommend if you're into any kind of like horror or suspense or mystery, this is definitely one that's gonna keep you wanting to keep reading further and further. I will say art, art wise, the art is really good. There's a lot of really beautiful scenes in it. Like it's really well done, but for some reason, when they're younger, she looks weird to me. It's like she has a super big forehead and like, they say she's super beautiful, but I don't really see her as technically super beautiful until the last like three or four chapters. You could definitely tell there's a big difference in how she looks and how she's drawn. She's just drawn so much better. So the artwork improves between the first chapter and the last chapter. chapter. This is something I would highly recommend, okay? I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye everyone.